Ever since the Trinity test, the United States has tested over a thousand nuclear bombs. Most of them are well known and documented, but there were also a few that slipped under the radar. In 1951, the Atomic Energy Commission and STRATCOM were tasked with helping the U.S. government develop new low-altitude triggers in below freezing temperatures. Three bombs based off the Fat Man dropped in Nagasaki were dropped in Minnesota's own backyard in an area known as the Big Bog Conservation Area. That region was chosen because it closely resembled the Soviet Union's Cold War era targets. The joint cooperation led to Operation Deep Freeze to test those triggers in this part of Minnesota. Within recent months, the Atomic Energy Commission and the Department of Defense have conducted important tests of an experimental device based on the thermonuclear principle. Thermonuclear principle. After World War II, the United States believed that any first strike from the Soviet Union would be from bombers coming over the North Pole in Canada to strike at the Midwest, which houses the majority of the U.S. nuclear stockpile. Thankfully, any unwanted visits would receive a warm welcome from a cold defense by NORAD. During the late 40s and 50s, the swamp was shelled almost constantly for target practice by the Air Force. Most of the tests were not live munitions, but a fair amount of them were live ordinances. And bizarrely enough, the Minnesota Conservation Department reached out to the Air Force and encouraged the government to blow big holes in the bog so that mooses could swim in to escape the Minnesota state bird, the humble mosquito. According to an interview with the Civil Defense Director of International Falls, said that in 1953, Convair B-36 Peacemaker bombers dropped three separate atomic bombs with the nuclear material removed and detonated them 4,000 feet above Upper Red Lake. Residents recall on the night of Monday, December 15, 1953, at 8.30 p.m., an enormous explosion that shook houses and broke windows all around the lake, and some even reported seeing a giant fireball as far as 65 miles away from the testing site, which meant that a bomb with a higher blast yield than usual was detonated that night. Other tests were done on December 17 and also March 9. The aftermath of these tests still scar the landscape, with at least 16 lakes being reported as former shell cavities. Hillman Lake was one of the first ones to be discovered when a researcher from the Minnesota DNR found an inert shell casing at the bottom. Managing director of the Big Bog State Recreational Area, Doug Easthouse, often collects and shows off some of his finds from the area. And I have a link to the article that he wrote down below if you're interested. After so many years of deafening explosions, the Ojibwe tribe that leased the land to the government had grown tired of it all. The reservation finally closed for bomb testing in 1965. And in 1978, they stated that no military aircraft were even allowed to fly over it anymore. With one Ojibwe leader threatening to shoot at any military flyovers he happened to see. The land was granted as a national natural landmark in the 70s and now features a boardwalk for visitors and researchers to walk through it. Although no aircraft has ever been shot down to this day, it occasionally gets visits by F-16 fighter jets from nearby air bases to test maneuvers and dogfights. Being that I grew up in the area, I'd like to disprove a few common myths while I'm talking about it. Because a lot of older folks, still to this day, will tell you that the land has been irradiated. But there has never been any recorded readings that are above normal background levels. And to my knowledge at least, there isn't any glow-in-the-dark mooses that were bitten by radioactive mosquitoes on record. The land is still open to the public, and you can go check with a Geiger counter for yourself. I almost even did this last year, but I never got a chance to. So, if you want to see me go look for a radioactive moose in the future, subscribe, and I will do just that. Just for you. Thank you for watching.